Yeah. Uh, Hello dear viewers, I've been thinking about an upcoming holiday and the fact that I'm going to be spending it in Texas, which means I'll be spending a good chunk of it on an airplane. And this brings me to one of the things I really hate, but it actually deserves an episode all to itself because it's so bloody egregious and there's lots of, lots of it around. Airports, airport security, and flying, and how much fun it has become not. First thing I hate about flying, changing planes in Newark. Seriously, you make me do this, and you're going to have an enemy for life. And I'll tell you why. Newark is an anagram of wanker. This is not a coincidence, I don't think. It is the worst, worst designed airport in the history of the world, and every single time I've been through there, I've gotten delayed, because it appears the air traffic controller is a chimpanzee who's been hit on the head repeatedly with, with a cricket bat and a bunch of curl cables. Not very fun at all. And they have to account for the fact that when you're in the airport, the layover takes a couple of hours and you're usually hungry. Because if you're on a layover, at least flying from Toronto to Houston, then the thing is neither leg of the journey is long enough for the planes to say, hey, let's feed them. Oh, okay. So you don't get food on the way to Newark. And you don't get food from Newark to Houston. Well, I don't. Maybe if you're in business class, they give you a cookie or something. So you're like, hey, I want food. Buy the airport food. And then comes the next problem. Airport food is overpriced. I mean, I doubt a hamburger is supposed to cost nine bucks. In any circumstances, not even a theme parks is it that bad. And then there's a the security to get on the airplane. Now, that's basically like, take off half your clothes, go through the scanner, or in my case, because I carry so many things in my pockets, take off half your clothes, empty all your pockets, which is a big mess, because I have it organized with a notebook, I have my sunglasses, pouch, I have my wallet, my keys, my... Oh, and I forgot to take my pocket knife off of my keys. I hate forgetting that. It's just so annoying. Because they're like, oh, now I have to have mailed back to myself and I'll have to pay for that. And then I have to go through the scanner, and then half the time I was like, ooh, your Game Boy's got bomb dust in it. Oh, hey, we need to pat you down. Why? Because we're not sure we believe you. Come on, I didn't set off the mail detector. Random search. Lame. What other things do I hate about flying? Oh, yes. From Toronto to Houston, or at least from Toronto to Newark, then Newark to Houston, they stick you on the tiniest plane ever invented, the Embraer, which is approximately that wide. Wait, hang on, let's put my head in here. Yeah, about that wide. There are two seats, an aisle one seat, and I bumped my head on the ceiling, and I'm short, so I don't know what to tell you. Uh, and then, of course, no food on those, because, like, ooh, the thing is, the Embraer goes quickly enough, because it's small, so you don't need food, because you get there in no time anyway. Oh, yeah, airport food again. And then there's the baggage losing systems at airports. It's like, ah, uh, you land and you have to wait like 20 minutes before the first bag comes out, and it's never yours. Maybe yours, but you're you're just a stupid lucky bastard to always get your weight, aren't you? And I like to wait ages and ages. And of course, everyone has the same kind of suitcase, and they're like, ooh, how are we going to work this? Let's all put a red ribbon on. Oh, and then there's the risk of crashing, because here's the thing. If you're on an airplane, then yes, statistically speaking, it's the safest way to travel. But here's the thing. If you're on an airplane and it crashes, that's pretty much it. You're bloody dead. If you're on a boat and the boat goes, hey, I'm going to break in half now. Why? Because the Scottish, Scottish Saboteur said so. Oh, okay then. But you can just swim and, you know, break a record for swimming. But on the other hand, if you're on a plane, like, I have to learn to fly really fast. Um, think happy thoughts, think happy thoughts. Uh, metal, um, booze. Oh, crap, there's no booze around. Metal. I. Ah, this isn't working. Flap your arms. Flap your arms. Flap your arms. Ugh. <laughs> uh, lovely, eh? Now let's see what the feature Wikipedia article is. The peculiar behavior of her character is birds are socially monogamous and sexually promiscuous. Male runs pluck pink or purple petals and display them to females as part of a courtship. <laughs> anyway, it's actually a really pretty picture. Let's see. Here we go. I'll just show you. Birdie, birdie, birdie. And I'll put a link over that way so you can look at it. Anyway, dear viewers, remember this. The Haifisch lebt im Wasser, so man sieht die Tränen nicht.